why so I'm just closing my liquid line set and get ready to pump it down. Get my suction line about halfway. So actually I'm gonna go all the way down. See how long this valve is. Sometimes they be very long. So I just front seat it all the way and then back up off of it. So that's all the way front seated. Now let's back seat a little bit. Just enough to open that valve. That should, that should be good. All right. Disconnect not close by, so I have to run and turn it off. I like to get down a little lower than that, but that's okay. All right, so I'm gonna prep this and see if we can get a well back there. See how there's oil right there. Well, now I'm gonna soap up. Should be good to go. So I'm just gonna fix the well, pull a little back. All right, so I'm gonna go with some thermal trap. So I'm just gonna open that straighter valve up by backing it out a little bit. So when I get ready to brace, I can purge it. All right. gonna work that on around there. That's enough solder on there. Gonna work it back a little bit. Should be good there. Yeah. 
it cool off and get a mirror and check it out. And I do a pressure hole with the nitrogen. Okay, so I'm just gonna hit it with some nitrogen. See if we can get about a hundred pounds in there. Another spray bottle. There's still a leak right there. See? Let me hear that. Can't find my mirror. I think that way it was leaking the first time and I still didn't get it. Let me see. That's why I like to start off slow. Instead of putting that 100 PSI in there like I did, I could have probably put 10 to 15 PSI and it would have blew one of them big bubbles like that. I thought I had it though. Get on this side here. Yeah, I see it now. Try to float it in the back back there. Yeah, I got it that time. I got it that time. So when I came to this side over here, I, I seen a little crack at the, it looked like it was a whole gap. So what I did was, the little titty that was right here, kind of soften that 15% up, and then heated the uh, coupling up, and it'll suck right in there. So I think we got it that time. So this time, don't put a little bit of nitrogen in there and leak search it that way.
Alright, so now I got about two, two PSI in there. Put about 10 PSI. Right there. I'm gonna go ahead and change that filter dryer too, cause Since it's on that suction side. Yeah, we got it that time. So that's 15 PSI. So that's enough to blow them small bubbles. Say so I don't see anything now. I'm gonna kick it up a notch. So we can go above a hundred. My nitrogen bottle getting empty. That's why I say best to start out with a small amount so it won't waste it. Got basically wasted that 100 PSI the first time. See, that's the rest of that bottle. Got 115, so that should be good. All right, so I'm holding at 117, 116, 117. Like it's holding pretty good there. Let's see, I don't see any more leaks. All right, so I'm gonna let that hold for another 10 minutes or so and pull a vacuum on it and release that charge and charge it back up. All right, so my next step, I got this tear it out. And I uh, already got a purge. So I'm going to stop the vacuum. And release charge Also going to check superheat. Let 
does has a TXV in there. All right. 